And now we're gonna talk to the disciple, because it's what everyone likes at the start of an episode, is talking, 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 talking. There is something I have observed, and now I feel I must say it. I have found your presence to be inspiring. With your growth in the Force, you seem to have found your center. And throughout the dangers we face, you remain calm and focused. <laughs> I'm shaking inside. You're right, I have never felt better. I understand now why others followed you to war. Perhaps that is what leadership is. And it is something I have seen in only a few during my travels. In any event, it has been some time since I traveled with a Jedi, nor one so firmly upon the path. I wanted to thank you. I fear the stories that were spoken of you have misrepresented you. And if I have the opportunity, I shall reverse them whenever they arise. Many thanks. Do not need your help. Any other questions? That is hardly a surprise. You look familiar. You are correct. I am afraid I have not been entirely open with you concerning my past. If I look familiar, it is because we have met before at the Enclave on Dantooine many years ago. As on Coruscant, Force-sensitive children are taken to Dantooine as well, though it is done rarely and only with those they believe are destined to become Jedi Knights. It is the secret nature of the place. If you are not chosen by a master when you have come of age, however, then the path of the Jedi is denied to you. I met you on Dantooine long ago. It's not really entirely true you anymore. The ways of combat, how to hear music within the movements of a lightsaber blade. It is difficult to explain the difference between you and Master Vrook, but I think it is because he was knowledgeable, but not a leader, not a mentor. Yeah, because Vrook we sucks. We could all feel it. Everyone hates and I Vrook. I knew that if I were to have a master, I would want it to be you. And then you went to war. Many Jedi went to war, and the Jedi Masters <sighs> proclaimed that you were Jedi no longer. Atrus, the Don't mistress bring that of name the up Archives, around me. was first among them. I knew at that moment that if you would no longer be a Jedi, then you must be correct. I realized I did not want to be a Jedi. Instead, I wished to follow your path. Of a In real event, Jedi. There was no one to train me, even if I wished it. They all went to war as I grew past the age of acceptance. You abandoned? You were turned away because of me? It is possible to forget the Force, you know. If you have not felt it strongly enough, then there is little to miss. But I never felt the Force as strongly as I did when I was with you. And so I decided to serve the Republic, study the Jedi teachings, gather them, perhaps. It was important to me to understand the Jedi now that they were gone. I felt some part of you should be preserved, so that your lessons would not be lost. It's not my intention to leave, but I had to. Perhaps. I still harbor doubts about the path I walked. I could train you to feel the Force again. I think you are right. It is time. I have watched you. You have become strong in the Force again. But that is not all. You have achieved a center in the chaos around us, and I have felt it. My master, the one intended for me, left to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. Now she has returned. And I ask her now if she will train me in the ways of the Force. Uh, let's see. You could be all dark side and evil, you think? Like, do not bow. I will train you. The one you. who was to be my master was lost at Malachor Five. I want you to teach me the ways of the Force, to become a Jedi Knight. What a I meant Jedi to be. Knight. And let us meditate and open ourselves to the Force. Imagine the initial teachings, your first steps within the Enclave. Remember the wind among the plains of Dantooine. The feel of life around you. The way I look holding this sword. Think of what you felt when our paths crossed again. And at last, see the galaxy through the Force. The disciples taking his first steps on the path of a Jedi Consular. Yay! And now he's a Jedi. Simple as that. Wouldn't level him. Feats. Uh. Regenerate force points. If he's going to be a consular, he's going to need a lot of force points. Speaking of which, we're going to make him an offensive guy with the force. He needs a crap ton more wisdom. Can't have zero wisdom as a consular. Come on now. 
I do really like him being a consular because he also gets benefits from being a soldier, which is why he has so many feats and really good sets of feats. Force lightning and choke. Yes, please. Unfortunately, he starts as a level 6 soldier, so he's a little bit further behind in terms of levels, but it's not a big deal. We will make him stronger. Battle meditation. More wisdom. I don't care about his skills. They don't mean anything to me. We'll give him... Yeah, we'll start upgrading his combat feats. That would be good. More skills, powers. Give him kill already. Wow. <laughs> this dude's supercharging his levels. Uh, We'll give him fear, because having another Jedi with insanity is good. Can make him a Jedi support. I have to give him. Oh, I have a Norris robe. Yeah, I'll give this to him right now. I'm not even gonna give him like a weapon. I'll give him this, I guess. Since he's gonna be. Oh wait, reflex versus response package. Oh, the response package is good. Anyways, yeah, this is gonna be him for now. What is it? And we can't change our party, so he's stuck with us down here with no weapon, because I don't want to give him a crappy sword for no reason when he doesn't need it right now. We'll give him some better stuff later. Look at a lightsaber soon-ish. I mean, I get the next single-handed. I'll probably give him or Beodur a double-bladed. I don't know, we'll see. Hey, I don't know why this room feels weird. Something about that seems off. Hello, Legric. There we go. Slice that guy up. Slice this dude up. With the Salvager. Ah, yes. You find a will on the Salvager. So, there's this whole backstory. I'm going to tamper with it because I'm a bad guy, but really, I just want the money. It's badly misspelled. So says that everything originally was supposed to go to the other guy I found in here, but it's going to me. But the whole background behind that is there's this giant cache of like salvage back at Kunda that some of these salvagers got and they've been just sitting on and anyone who can claim that the like it's intended for them anyone who like has this will or even the bodies at this point like Zeron even says even the bodies will do uh, they'll get the cash which is why Dalara wants them she wants the corpses, not because Salvager's got to stick together and so she can give him a good burial, but because she wants the Salvager cash. And if you bring the bodies with the will that's not changed, you don't get it, which is why I changed the will. It's a little dark side, but it's worth it. Are you Joron? Can you open the door? Leg Rex are dead. Here's with a blaster, then. Blah. Hey, Joron. Thanks for saving me. Not so fast. Listen, I didn't ask for your... I was panicking. I'm just trying to get enough credits to book passage off. The... I don't have much to give, but... Didn't you find anything? I didn't find a single... Tapeplay mentioned you grabbed There's stuff. There's no way I'm going to give those to you. I buy them? I want what you found. This isn't negotiable. No, I'm not gonna be that much for sure. I, had, I, I managed. If you give me third, <laughs> I'm going to the salvage. Come visit if you. Yellow crystal emitter, adhesion lens. It's not, mm, not the best stuff, but I guess might as well buy it. Hey, hey look, it's this guy that we didn't actually talk to. The perils of the sublet for now. Uh, I'm afraid your death won't be. And this dude's all like, ugh, you're... Ugh, ugh. Yeah, what was that, Garavik? I think Garavik also has, like, some claim to the... loot in that he says he won it from a guy. Um, oh, strength amplifier. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. And that he says he won it from the guy in a game of Pazak. But no one remembers them playing Pazak, but the guy he played against to win it from is dead or something. I don't know. It's weird. 
I'm not gonna worry about fighting those guys. We'll fight them later. You know what? No, I'm gonna fight them now because I want the XP. I want the XP. I want more levels. Yeah. I feel like I'm not getting this. Yeah, okay. Right, because I did a basic attack, not a flurry with that force leap. Hey, can you guys, like, use your force powers? There you go. This shall not stop us for long. That battle meditation's fun. Extra damage, extra hit chance. I was thinking more along the lines of, like, you know, force lightning or something. Bro, there's disciples out here choking the crap out of so many Kinrath. And by Kinrath, I mean Cath Hounds. Because I'm a fool. Please, just kill him. Now, this lightsaber is doing so much damage. But, like, the sword is doing nothing. That's why I gotta change that. I need a better weapon. So now we're out here. Um. It's you again. I really. But it. All of us salvagers know about. What? Who? You. Never mind. I can't ask about the thief because I already know about the thief. I guess. And let's fight this cat hound. Land on his face. Okay. <laughs> that was an interesting force leap, considering I didn't move because Cray got in the way as soon as I tried to. I mean, hey, I got to do free ranged damage with a lightsaber, so that was cool. There we go. Just jump on this guy. Slice him up. Slice him up. Oh, I just want to get a second lightsaber. Tired of having a crappy sword. Like if I could have got like the Chani Vibro sword or bought like a Sith Tremor sword, it'd be different. But I didn't want to waste the money on those. There's no point. And I'm stuck. No, I'm not stuck. Okay. Oh, Nalik. Like Nalik. Mud liquor? Is that even an insult? You've given me all. <laughs> and now this dude wants to fight me. I love that, that you can just get him to fight you by just calling him out on a crappy insult. And here we drops, yeah. An Argazden Riot Buster. Which isn't terrible. Uh, while we're out here, I want to bring Bayo Dur. Still at level 12 because he's not getting Kraya's XP bonuses. Yeah, Kraya's mentor bonus that I showed off earlier only affects people that are in the current party. And not even like people that are in your party menu, but people that are with you at the time. Like, it's only us three now getting the effects. I didn't mean to heal, I wanted to use speed again. But, uh... Yeah, there we go. And I'm stuck again. I'm not stuck anymore. Got loot over here. We've got Sedeh... Sed... Sedeh... You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. What are you doing out here? A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. You suspect foul play? I do. The Kinrath, I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. But Dantooine is temperate. There is no need for atmospheric sensors except for seasonal data collection. Huh? Eh? Why do you really want them? I need them. I'll see what I can do. So he wants to find these atmospheric sensors, and Vader's like, mm, that's not right. You don't need them on temperate worlds like this. I think they're not important. He'll, he'll explain it more in a little bit. Wow, we are just crapping on these Kinrath, and I love it. Come on now. Let me go. There we go. Into the cave. To the Kinrath cave. This guy's just walk, walk, walking. He doesn't notice me. The Kinrath don't fight him. Unharmed. It's because he's just cool. Kinrath recognize him. They're like, hey, that dude's cool. Hey, look, we found those sensors. You don't know about what? The sensors? 
They are vitally important pieces of equipment on tectonically or environmentally unstable regions. But do you really need atmospheric sensors on Dantooine? Can you examine I'll one? Have this open in no time. Child's play. Inside the atmospheric sensor is a hidden surveillance device. No wonder he wants them so badly. Good work, Beodur. And I get influence. Yay! Can I get him out of the party now? I can. We're gonna bring Atten back, because Atten's cool. And for as cool as the disciple is, I don't need him right now. Atten's gonna be able to do more damage because he has weapons. Hello, Mr. Mercenary. My apologies. Come out, don't attack you. Why is that? I'm an explorer. You can share your secret. You will tell me your secret. Shut up, Ad. You have a scent gland? I want to hold your gland. Okay. If you're dark side, you can kill him for his scent gland, so the Kinrath won't attack you if you're alone and you don't attack them, but it's really not worth it. Kraya, get Master Jedi Defense for whenever you get a lightsaber. Yes, get that. And that. There we go. Make Kraya a little bit stronger. I love just leaping onto these Kinrath and killing them with one jump. Except for when I get stuck in place. That's annoying. Oops. Come on. God, let me move. That is so annoying. I can't quite figure out how to solve it because sometimes it just doesn't. It's like playthrough paste. Sometimes it doesn't affect me at all, and sometimes it happens every time. Did I loot that rubble? I didn't. Grenades and a shield. AKA selling bait. Tons of money. Well, not even tons. Some money to be had there. Closer to the next level? We'll probably get this level soon. Definitely before we leave Dantooine. That is without a doubt. Let's kill that Hive Kinrath. Stuck again. Ugh. This rubble for a hyper adrenal stamina. Because, you know, old ancient cave rubbles. Very well known for. I did not mean to use Force Sight. My eyes, ow, they're burning. Wanted to use this. There we go. Some rubble. Your thoughts are disturbed. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force. I sense that Revan once passed through. Perhaps. Oh, did... Revan was here! Tell me more the about these. The crystals here are infused with the force. Some. The crystals here do not drain force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the force. Okay. Then there's a crap ton of stupid little kinraths. Yes. So we're gonna switch out to the classic strategy of well first we're gonna use insanity. Make them all crazy. There's the matriarch. Okay, that was what I intended to do. And now we're just gonna shock everyone to death. More where that came from. This force lightning is the most effective room clearing attack. Oh, they didn't stay clumped enough for it to really be all that useful. And dead. And I leveled up from that. Awesome. Let's get some more of those. A little bit more awareness. Feats. I get so many good feats now. Superior weapon. F or, yeah, superior weapon focus. Extra one attack. Yes, please. Stasis field. Yeah, I'll get stasis field. It will not stop us for long. Let's break these Kinrath eggs. They don't do anything, but I want to. Sigil crystal and a violet crystal. Break that. Break that. Unlike the first game, these don't give you red crystals. Which is kind of lame. But you can also use mines to blow them up, which is funny. Bondar crystal. I don't want to loot the glowing one yet. It's cool. Oh, the matriarch had pont pontite crystal. It's like cold damage and 
charisma, I think. The Mitra Surik crystal. Oh, that's a weird name. Response to you. What does it mean? The crystal's bond with you is such this crystal. But I need a pet crystal. How can I have to feed it? You scoffed at this gift, but many. <laughs> so this is the crystal that'll grow in strength as I grow in yes. power. That crystal should your is okay. So it starts already attuned. We'll talk to her more later. I want to break this last egg too because I can. But that crystal is really fun to get because the stronger you are, it levels alongside you essentially. So you can have a significantly stronger lightsaber crystal. That way you don't get like a super saber at the start of the game, and then it doesn't ever end up changing. More Viper Kinrath. Hey look, there's a whole bunch of mercenaries, and look, there's stupid garbage rook locked in a cage where he belongs. Oh, hello Kinrath. Focus. Focus. Can I just loot this rubble, please? Oh yeah, there's something I want to show here. If you use Force Sight... Yeah, they're all on the dark side. Rook is less light than I am. He's like about as light as Atten is, if that. Because Rook is stupid and I hate him. Rook is the worst of the masters. Ugh. This isn't kidnapping. This is. I'm gonna say this nice. Open the cage. Let the Jedi out. That's a Jedi trick. We trained against that during. It's a Jedi! Kill her, man! It's like, wouldn't you want to capture me? Because then you can get more bounty. Here we go. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You get to slice our way through all of these people. Always rushing into action without hey, thinking of the Hey, you broke. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger. And you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. How are you going to help in a cage? When an opponent believes that you are defeated, they no longer consider you a threat. And they relax their guard, become bold. After I was captured, they talked freely of their plans. Enough for me to learn their intentions. I need to get to Kunda and warn them. I need to they get could to be Kunda and at warn any them. Moment. How can I help? If you wish to prove yourself, then do so. Then do so! Kunda's in danger and they need our help. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding on. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. Whatever. Shut up, Rook. I hate you. Rook is stupid and I want to leave him in that cage and let them take him to Narshan and kill him. Yeah, it contains orders. We're going to attack. Because Brooke is so smart that, oh, I got captured, so now I can't help defend it, and they're going to attack anyway. Hey, more strength amplifier gauntlets that I don't need anymore. Hey, some free loot's always nice. could sell them, I guess. Hopefully they'll sell for something. Put a little quick save. Now we walk all the way out here to the Gunda Plains. Led by Asgul, a veteran who served in the Civil War. The Jedi, Speaking of which, and I am Asgul, leader of the Asgul. on Dantooine. I've learned you're planning an assault. That is correct, and I want you to help me. What's in it for me? According to my reports, I... it is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the, of course I will pay. What do you have in mind? There are many ways. I'm not interested. You better reconsider. I ca cannot allow your plans to succeed. You could have guided this Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. Men, my trust you can blah, 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 blah. Shut up. I hate you, that's cool. Yeah, let's start throwing them around. Kraya doesn't like that. She's like, oh, you should have you should have lied and said you would help them. But Kraya, I want XP. XP is more important than your approval. Because you're Everyone you, down. and you're kind of cool in theory, but in practice, you're dumb and annoying. Let us end this. this was like over a thousand XP, Kraya. Why would I not fight these people? Especially when they were pushover jokes. We didn't drop any remains because they're stupid and I hate them. 
the cave at no level. Heroic Resolve! There you go. Master Sniper shot. He's a Master Sniper! Come on, Force Wave. The word. There was a Kenrath here earlier, I thought. Oh well. Now we're gonna walk over to this guy, be like, hey, what's up, dude? Sad hey. Actually, I found three of them. Not so fast, we found a little surprise. Why is there surveillance equipment? We know that the mercs are up to something. We just don't know. Now you know why we, you make. Thanks. Yay! I got an extra 2,000 credits just for looking inside them. So that helps recoup our losses from uh, buying so much stuff. There's a whole bunch of mines here, which is interesting. And someone doesn't know how to place a proper minefield because they're all along the sides. Yeah, okay, we got a little bit of time. We're not gonna do the battle for Kunda just yet. We're gonna we're gonna hold off. Oh, the exchange utility belt, I love this thing. It's so good. In fact, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna talk to this merchant here. What's up, Kire? What do you sell? Can I see what you've got? Is it oh he had a chassis? Or a chassis, not a freaking thing. I thought he was supposed to... Oh, no, I... that's right. I remember. What do I have to sell? Anything you want? That sells for a lot. That doesn't. This sells for so... Why do these... Ugh. God, I hate people. <laughs> Who wants a heavy sonic pistol for 4,000 dang credits? We're going to go back to the Evan Hawk first before we resume with Kunda. Because we got stuff we want to do. We've got people to talk to and stuff like that. We're going to go here into the Ebon Hawk. Loss of the Jedi during the Mandalorian Wars. Hey, what's up? My sword is going through my legs. Ow. Something wrong? The more worlds we travel to, the more questions I have. It's not just the hardships of the people, but something more. It's difficult to turn away from the suffering. You are right, but there is something more at work here. What do you mean? The attacks on Qatar, Telos itself, the decay on Dantooine. Something is wrong, but I cannot pinpoint what. It's like their connections have become sickened, damaged. Sometimes I feel like I almost understand and then it just slips away. Okay. Interesting. I am holding this sword wrong and it bothers me. You can resume your circuit of the ship, but actually I lied to you, and I want you to stop moving around the ship, and I want to upgrade you. Cool, routine maintenance. Reach your core again. Uh, well, that's another 1,000 XP. That's always nice. Is there anything to talk about with Atten? Something up? Something up? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Here we go, he's got specialization with lightsabers, and that's it. Yeah, I gotta go around and train everybody again. Um, the disciple hangs out in the med bay. Yes. It's what are you doing? At times, I'm, I try to treasure these moments. Can you teach me to meditate? Cover to a force point and one time bonus your force points through meditation. You can meditate with the disciple at any time if there are no enemies nearby. I try to treasure. Forgive me. But there is something I must ask. In my... You are that Jedi. But the record... I wanted to discuss why you chose to leave... <sighs> I'll have to protect innocence in the Outer Rim. I see. And because you went to war, they cast you out? At first, I thought that was the sole reason. Now I'm not you so sure. Of... Yes. G3 or M4 has Perhaps a copy. Ex... You're free to do so. I appreciate your trust. We'll be going now. Let's talk I to have him again. studied the hollow record of your. I must confess that I was searching for some me. I did not leave. I was exiled. Yes, but exile is rare, and I have found it is not really something that the order can enforce. Believe it or not, it was really your choice. Your choice. 
Why would I choose such a I thing? I do not know. That is a question best answered by yourself. But it is you who made the choice to turn away, not them. Why does this interest because you? Because I, too, turned away from the Order. Under less extreme circumstances, perhaps, but stemming from the same reasons. I still don't believe it was my I'm choice. Not certain I do, either. But it is something... We've spoken enough. Then I shall speak no more of it. Yes, it's... That Some questions... I guess I can't teach him any techniques because he knows pretty much all the ones I do. I'm in here. Hey, Bayoder. Yes, that remote's still beeping away. I love that. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go talk to Kreia. We're gonna end this episode after we talk to her. How many more do we intend? Only as many as come with us and will help us. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. True. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. My friends, not Do followers. Do not cloak one word within another. <laughs> friends. Do friends not follow? Do friends not form a hierarchy of their own, no matter how small the circle? They're your friends too. Maybe you could learn to see them that way. I am too old for friends. And when the years settle upon you, you will dispense with such words as well. I'm no leader. No? Perhaps not. Or perhaps you are different. Something more. I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. How do you know that? I know many things. And I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed something what has been more. happening? Have you felt it in them? No, sir. Atten, <laughs> their Atten is behavior. <laughs> wow, I can't talk. I've noticed their behavior is changing, Atten especially. The fool dances in your shadow for your favor. The disciple, he worships you quietly. The alien obeys you. Even within the machines, there are echoes. Watch them carefully. See their patterns and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. You have a point. I will reflect upon this. Good. And that, that was Revan's way. And I got a net yes. change of light side. Uh, I've thought more about the destruction um, of her home world. I hadn't said her opponent was wiped out. Uh, dang it, I need more intelligence or awareness. Anyways, uh, we're going to end this one here. We're going to have not too much more talking next episode, although there's going to be one person that we're going to be... Whoa floor gets really dark over there anyways we're gonna end this one here next time we're gonna talk to someone very special i hope you all are ready see ya